is a cherise and as you can see by the title of this video i'll be doing a christmas get ready with me but this brand by the name of duval was so kind enough to send me over their professional flat iron so this is the flat irons box and this is how it came use code cherish j70 for 70 percent off so if you're interested in purchasing this flat iron you can go ahead and use this code so i'm just showing you all the flat iron here it has the two plates at the top there i love that it's pink you all know i'm into the gooey stuff purple is my color but pink i love it too there's a dial and it goes up to 450 degrees and there's a switch for the on and off and it gets hot pretty quickly so be careful this is how the flat iron looks on the website so if you go to the wall you can just look at the desire series styling iron click that and you can actually get a 360 view of this flat iron and look up at the specs so y'all use my code it's 95 dollars and if you use my code to get 70 percent off look at how much y'all are saving so be sure to check it out on their website the link will be in the description so this is my wig and my mannequin head if you are familiar with my last video go ahead and check that out that's where i bleached the knots so i'm just preparing the wig to put it on my head so i'm just putting it into a middle part this is my first time like preparing a wig on a mannequin head and trust me y'all it's way easier to do that on the mannequin head than on your head itself so i was watching once upon a time i'm so sorry y'all could see that in the background so to get the hair sleek i'm hot combing the back of the part that i just made to make the part a little more defined and i did that on both sections i blow dried the hair because it was a little wet so i did not want to flat iron it damp or anything so that's what I'm doing here and I'm using a wide tooth comb just to run through it to get it a little bit drier, not completely blow dried. So the hair is 22 inches originally, but I decided to cut it. I feel like I cut it down to like 20 inches, but I decided to cut it myself. I'm not a hairstylist, so it probably looks a little choppy, but I love the cut. I love how blunt it was and you know how it was. So y'all please ignore my hair. This was after a fresh wash. That's why I look kind of crazy, but yeah, this is just me cutting the hair here. So to flat I am I'm using the L'Oreal Live heat protector and now I'm going on with the Duval flat iron. So this is one pass that I'm showing you all. I actually use it on 410 heat I believe not 450 all the way. So as you all could see look how sleek it got the hair with one pass and this is body wave here so there is a curl to it so it will take a little bit more to flat iron so i'm really impressed with this flat iron it still gives the hair some shine some body it's not stiff because i have used flat irons where they made the hair stiff and i use the same elive heat protectant so you know it's definitely the flat iron and this flat iron did not do that look at how shiny the hair is Look at how sleek and I'm just doing one or two passes on the entire hair. So I'm just speeding it up to show you all how I'm using the flat iron to flat iron the entire wig. I originally wanted to wear it in a sleek middle part but I realized I didn't like the style on me. Nothing to do with the flat iron or the style. I loved how straight the hair got. I just didn't like it on me. So in the intro y'all probably so I switched to a side part but later on in the video you all will see that as well. But yeah I'm just flat ironing in the rest of the hair.
so this is the finished look of the flat iron here i absolutely love the flat iron roll honestly it made the job so much easier and it made the process way faster you all need to go get this if you're looking for a flat iron use code shirishj70 for 70 percent off the next day so y'all it's the next day and we're getting into this wooden stall so i made some mistakes y'all it's just my second time but you know i'm learning so you'll get better eventually i did the board cap method with my glue as i said in my last video if you saw that you would have seen but as you can see i put makeup on my forehead but like if you all watch my makeup videos you all know my skin and my face and stuff it doesn't really match so this makeup was a little too red and i put it on my forehead and the wig so i find like it was a little too much of a dark red tone so i would change that i would just use my lace tint spray from the glam life instead of using makeup because i feel like makeup gunks it up and makes it heavier so now i'm using the glam life glue and i use four layers of this glue and i was spreading this out with the back of an edge brush i waited for each layer to dry clear so i did this part and it actually did not like take long to dry because i did it thin so you know my first time i did it way too thick but this time i did it thin so it really wasn't a problem so now i'm gluing in the wig into the glue so on one side i cut the stocking cap I keep thinking, too far back and i ended up having to cut that and then i tied it down i left it tied down for about 15 to 20 minutes and when i came back and took it out look how good it looks now there was a little part that you could kind of see you know sticking up extra excess lace but i ended up cutting that over the course of the few days that i had it on so yeah the baby hairs this time were not hard to do that's because i learned this trick where people say to hot comb it down to train the baby hairs down and then curl it and then when you're swooping it makes life way easier and i 100 percent agree it did make it a lot easier when i did that so i just did two swoops and then two side brains i cut the excess lace that you're seeing in between the swoop and the side brain after a few days because you know i use too dark of a makeup so you can kind of see it if i use a lighter makeup i feel like you would not have been able to see it but you could see it because i messed up but yeah so i was just training the hair down again with my hot comb and i touched it up with the duval flat iron again on 410 degrees i didn't add any more heat protectors i was just re-flat ironing the parts that were like curled up or kinked up and that was basically it for this install y'all it got better coming down to the end of the days so for right now this is how it looks tell me how you think leave me some pointers remember this is my second install ever several days later good morning y'all so this is the official start of this get ready with me for christmas vlog so i know y'all saw the other clips wait i did not do my intro
Hey guys, it's Cherise, and as you can see by the title of today's video, I will be doing a Get Ready With Me Christmas video. So you already saw the part where I installed my hair, and I'm not sure if I did my nails, but if I did my nails, I will insert that clip. And today, I am actually going Christmas shopping. So today is the 23rd, very late, but I had exams quite late, so that's why we're now going Christmas shopping. So I'm going brand source, different places all over, you will see. And I'm going to take you all with me. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I know you all reached fine video already, but let's go on for this shopping trip. Whenever I have on my clothes and I did my hair and everything, I will show you all because I don't want this video to be too, too, too long. So I will catch you all in the next clip. The radio is on making noise, but I hope you all could hear me. We just left home to go shopping. We just stopped off by the drugstore, so we'll be on our way. I think the first place we're going to is Brand Source. So whenever we reach there, I'll show you all. I didn't really show you all a clip of my outfit. I think I have a snap, so it'll probably be in Sydney before this. But when we reach Brand Source, I will show you all. I guess my hair is in a side part now. Ignore that. Okay. But when we reach, I'll show you all. Chevy Drive, look alive, look alive Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side Oh well, fuck them dog. we gon' see how hard they ride I get racks to go outside, and I spit it with the guys We up on the other side, niggas actin' like we tied I been gone since like July, niggas actin' like I died They won't be expecting shit when Cap up go to slide Cause I told them that we put that shit behind us, but I lied Hey, hey, look who I'm around, man
you think you're gonna put a tree that big? Bend over and I'll show you. I know I really have not talked in a while that's because we've been busy up and down all over the place we just came out of God City Wall we are going back I'm shining a flashlight we are we are going back to um anyways Plaza well around there because in the Diwali Nagar they have uh what's it call it a flea market mm -hmm. so we usually go there every year so that's where we're heading now I will try to get some clips there as much as possible but you all know when it's shopping and COVID time it really likes to record that's why I've really been just having clips and y'all will just be seeing like random clips of music and stuff of me going throughout the day and shopping and I think tomorrow I will record and show y'all exactly what we got today because I know as soon as I reach home I'm going to be tired so I know I'm not going to do that tonight but yeah the next clip y'all will be seeing is in Many hours later. Hey y'all, as you can see, I am home now. I did not record as much today. I'm sorry. But as much as I recorded, I hope you all enjoyed that, those little clips. Today is the 23rd, as I said. So tomorrow is Christmas Eve, and tomorrow is when I'm taking my pictures. My hair is actually in some um, flexi rods right now. And I'll show you all the outfit and everything tomorrow before I get ready. So yes, I'll be taking pictures. I already have my nails done and my toes done. Can I show you all my toes? Oh, if I did it, I will insert a video. But, so tomorrow's pictures. And then my family is prepping food. I might show you all a little bit of that. And then, well, Christmas. We're really not doing much for Christmas because, you know, it's still a pandemic. And, you know, you can't really do much. So, yeah, I'll probably just be able to show you all my food or something. Whatever happens, I will come back and update you all. So, I'll see you all in the morning. Good night, you all. Tomorrow. Hey y'all, so it is the next day and I am getting ready to do my makeup. It is around 12.30. I was cleaning this morning. Something happened with my pinky. I don't know why it hurts me so much. But anyway, I'm about to do my makeup and then fix the hair and stuff. Right now, I'm just going to take off the bonnet and do the makeup with just the tie band so I can get as close to my forehead as possible. But I don't think I'm going to record my makeup because it's the same makeup I do all the time. I recorded it for my birthday, so it's literally the same thing. I have my nails to put on, so I'll come back with you all when I'm putting on that and my shoes and stuff. So go take the pictures. But right now, as I said, doing my makeup. <laughs> As you can see, I'm done with my makeup and my hair. So this is it. I know when you all saw the installation process, it was in our middle part. And that's what I thought I wanted, but I'm good with my trusty old side part. So that's what I did. I curled the hair a different way than I did for my birthday. I wrapped it around instead of spiraling it down. And I like this 
like for the vibe I was going for for today. So I'm actually gonna finish putting on my clothes and then come and show you all the rest of my outfit. So y'all, I have my nails on right now. As you can see, I'm so happy that they match the outfit. That was the whole vibe I wanted to go for. I'm not taking pictures just yet because I'm waiting on my sister and then she will come take the pictures for me because she's the one who does it, but she's cooking because you know, Christmas Eve. So that's why I love this look. I even love, oop, the hair keep getting stuck on my lip gloss, but I even love how the curls turned out. They're different from last time, so. Cute. I love it. So y'all, this is the outfit. Curls are dropped, so ignore that. But um, the pants and the top are from the same place, Shop Candy Girls on Instagram. The purse is from Rich Desires, and the shoes are from Vid Style Beauty. So I'll just do like a whole. Well, it is Christmas Day. I'm gonna ball as you know. I mean, I wasn't expecting it. I told you, I said, I don't want to talk to you this year. Oh, look at that. Driving gloves. Well, it seemed appropriate. Yeah, so it's Christmas Day. Merry Christmas. I am um, in my bed right now. That's because we actually already had breakfast, which I will not see. And now I'm looking to get ready for the day, so I'm just gonna like get a little cute. Well, not really a little cute. I'm just gonna do eyebrows and I wear makeup today because you know normally on Christmas I just like to do makeup and get ready and do the whole shebang. But this year I really trying to keep it as chill as possible. So just eyebrows. You'll hear my door creaking. I'm so sorry. And then um, I'll show you all the whole lunch stuff. I'm gonna do that. Yesterday I filmed a Pennywise haul last night, so that's why I didn't come back and show you all a lot of stuff that's happening. Sorry about that. And also like the um the stuff that I bought when we went out shopping, I was going to show you all some of the stuff. But the majority of the stuff are for my room, which I will be doing a room transformation kind of like kind of thing. So I wanna save that for that. But the only thing I could show you all is like some nail items I got from Brand Source, which I will get up and show you all in a minute. But yeah. That's pretty much it for now. Just chilling. I hope you all enjoyed your Christmas. I, I know you're gonna see this afterwards. So I hope you all enjoyed your Christmas and today was fun and enjoyable for you. All. Um, yeah, I just can't stop playing with my nails. You're like, I love when I have on nails. Come on, look at that. And you all know it matched perfectly. Focus. You all know it matched perfectly with my sweater yesterday. And I'm wearing green again today. But yeah, um, I don't cook. Because y'all know if y'all have been on my channel for a while, y'all know I always say I cook to save my life. So I usually just wash the ways. I just wash dishes, put in dishwasher, clean up and stuff. So I just finish washing breakfast ways. That's why I come back upstairs. I'm gonna get ready in a second and just chill for the day. Well, as you can see, I am dressed. I have no makeup on because I said I'm not doing makeup. And yes, I only have one hand and nails because I need to be able to function. So I just have on this red well red this green dress um sticking with the green theme my hair is just in a ponytail as you can see regular ponytail i'm really trying to be as chill as possible so this is the dress regular i've worn this dress before and yeah simple and then my black fluffy slippers nothing too special just regular dress and slippers as you can see and I'm just gonna be chilling because I have nothing else to do so yeah we're not eating yet I think we're gonna eat in a little while not too long but right now I'm just gonna be on my bed I just scrolling through TikTok right now y'all like nothing really happening because today is a chill day as I said really nothing much this whole Christmas vibe honestly it has been chill nothing has been really going on the highlights of my whole thing was going out shopping and then taking off my pictures so
several days later so it's a few days later i look different because i have my hair back in rollers this is actually a reinstall um whenever i do whatever i do i'll probably show you but i wanted to come out and end the video because i forgot to after we ate christmas lunch i actually we went actually went out for a drive so we went to shagaramas and drove to drove through Dego Martin and stuff and like went sightseeing and stuff. It was fun. The um vibe was chill for Christmas. Y'all know this whole vibe was chill, as you could tell from the video. Like the whole entire vibe was chill. Really didn't do much this year because one, my exams finished early, two, we're still in a pandemic, and three, I just wasn't feeling the Christmas vibes this year. Like I know that happens to a lot of people, like a lot of people weren't feeling the Christmas vibes, and I was one of them, and I'm usually very excited for Christmas, but this year was so different. But what I am excited for is my room renovation. Look at this. Look at this wall, y'all. A mess. The next time y'all see this wall, it will... Okay. Would it be? I don't know. After this video, y'all probably will still be seeing the wall kind of a mess. But the next time y'all see the wall fully, fully with the transformation, it will be a whole new room. And I'm excited for that. I've been wanting to redo my room. So that is my Christmas gift. That's my highlight of my Christmas. Oh, by the way, y'all, I don't really show my Christmas gifts because I don't want it to come off as I am bragging or anything. So I don't really like to show my Christmas gifts that I get. That has been for years. I don't really like to show it. Even though, yes, I know I have a video of what I got for Christmas. I don't know if it's still up from when I was so young. But yeah, that's the reason why I'm not showing y'all. But anyway, y'all, I am so excited for the whole room transformation. Yes, my nails are off. It's been a few days, okay? I have things to clean. I can't do the whole nail thing. But I'm excited for New Year's as well. I'm not really going to be doing much for New Year's, honestly. So I wouldn't be vlogging. At least I don't think so. But um, I will be doing some nails. So, yeah. But I am rambling on, I realize this. Y'all know I like to talk. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you watched the entire thing, comment a Christmas tree emoji and a red heart emoji. Come back for a new video from me, y'all. I would love for y'all to comment and to share and to do all this stuff. I really appreciate it. And I hope y'all enjoyed. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, loves.